Brazo Gitano Guava Jelly Roll Cake. Try this tea cake loaded with guava to go with your afternoon coffee or as a sweet treat to finish your dinner. Ingredients Baking spray 1 and a quarter cups 150 grams cake flour a quarter cup 30 grams cornstarch a half teaspoon to grams baking powder whites and yolks of four large eggs separated at room temperature 1 and a quarter cups 250 grams granulated sugar divided a half teaspoon 3 grams kosher salt 1 teaspoon almond extract a half cup 125 milliliter whole milk room temperature a third cup 32 grams powdered sugar three quarters teaspoon ground cinnamon 290 grams or 14 ounces of guava jelly or paste steps one preheat your oven and prepare sheet pan set the oven's temperature to 400 fahrenheit 200 for celsius spray or brush the bottom but not the edges of a half sheet pan with baking spray or melted butter. Line the sheet pan's bottom with parchment paper. 2. Sift the dry ingredients. Sift the cake flour, cornstarch, and baking powder together twice in a medium bowl. This aerates the flour and contributes to a delicate cake. Set aside the bowl. 3. Whip egg whites. Add the egg whites to a large mixing dish. Begin beating the egg whites on low speed with a hand mixer or a stand mixer fitted with the whip attachment for 30-45 seconds or until they look frothy. Use your hand mixers whip attachment if you have one, otherwise the beaters will suffice. When the egg whites are frothy, continue beating on low speed while gradually adding a half cup 100 gram granulated sugar to the bowl. Whip the whites at medium-high speed until they hold a firm peak when the beaters are removed. The egg whites should stand straight up when you pull the beaters from the bowl. Furthermore, the whites on the beaters will be visible. No more than 6-7 minutes should pass throughout this. 4. Egg yolks and sugar should be combined, then beaten. In a separate large mixing bowl, beat the egg yolks, remaining sugar, salt, and extract at low speed for 30 to 45 seconds or until light and fluffy. Using the same beaters, no need to clean them. Stop the mixer and scrape down the bowl after everything is mixed. Increase the mixer speed to medium-high and beat the yolk-sugar combination for 3 to 4 minutes or until the mixture is lemony yellow and the sugar is virtually dissolved. Dip your finger into the mixture and rub it between your finger and thumb to test this. You should only feel a few sugar crystals. 5. Add the milk to the egg and sugar mixture. Pour the milk into the bowl containing the yolk sugar mixture, then blend on low speed until entirely mixed. 6. Add the flour. Sift the dry ingredients into the mixing bowl with the yolk, sugar, and milk. Fold the flour into the mixture gradually using a big rubber spatula. Begin at the sides of the bowl, press down toward the bottom, and then draw up through the center. Repeat this process until the flour is completely mixed. Gently fold in the flour until no streaks of flour remain, tucking car not to deflate the eggs too much. Here's your batter. 7. Gently fold in the egg whites in two parts. Half of the whisked egg whites should be placed on top of the batter. Using the same movements as before, fold the beaten whites into the batter. When the whites are almost completely integrated, with only a few streaks of yellow and white remaining, add the remaining egg whites. Fold these in until there are no more white streaks. 8. Onto the prepared baking sheet. Pour the batter. Pour the batter onto the PI heated baking sheet. Using an offset spatula, spread the batter in the pan. Tap the pan three or four times on the surface to eliminate any huge bubbles. Bake for 10 to 12 minutes or until the cake has risen and turned golden brown. 9. Make the cinnamon, sugar mixture, and dust tea towel. While the cake bakes, whisk together the powdered sugar and ground cinnamon in a small bowl. 
Sift two tablespoons of the sugar mixture over a clean tea towel to lightly dust it. Save the remaining cinnamon sugar mixture for sprinkling on top of the completed roll. 10. Remove cake from sheet pan. Roll and cool. When you take the cake out of the oven, use a knife to detach it from the sides of the pan and immediately flip it onto the good towel. If you hold the pan too high, you'll make even more of a mess with the sugar. Roll the cake into a tube form quickly, but carefully it's hot. Beginning with the long side, 45 minutes should pass as the cake cools in this configuration, seam side down. 11. Prepare the guava paste if using. Prepare the guava paste if used near the end of the chilling time. Place the block in a 3-cup microwave-safe basin and cut a tinto, a half-inch cubes. Heat the guava paste for 45 seconds to 1 minute or until the cubes appear glossy. Stir the guava paste with a whisk until smooth. If you are using guava jelly, simply whisk it until smooth. It doesn't need to be heated. 12. Unroll the cake, fill and re-roll it. Carefully unroll the cake and remove the parchment paper and it has totally cooled and is no longer warm to the touch. Leave a 1 inch space on one of the long ends of the cake and spread an 8 to a quarter inch thick guava layer there. Begin rolling the cake back into a tube from the guava covered a long end. Roll the tube tightly toward the other end using the towel. 13. Wrap the cake in plastic wrap and refrigerate. Wrap the cake tube tightly with plastic wrap. The wrapping ends should be twisted together to create a tight cylinder. The Brazo Gitano should be chilled for at least two hours. 14. Dust cake with cinnamon sugar and serve. Unwrap the Brazo Gitano and generously dust with the leftover cinnamon sugar mixture. Cut into slices and serve. Consume within four days. Thanks watching.